welcome to another episode of Celebrity Surf Series. Today's guest, we have defense and New York Giants, Leonard Williams. He said, Here at Leonard Williams, when did you start playing football? You told me you didn't start playing until high school, right? Yeah, I didn't start playing until high school. Um, I tried to play Pop Warner when I was uh, in middle school, and I was like above the weight limit. No way. <laughs> big, big kid problems. Dang, dude. Yeah, so I just started when I got to high school. And then when you were getting drafted in the NFL, you were like sixth pick in the in the draft? When yeah, you I was a sixth overall pick uh, to the New York Jets. That's incredible, man. Yeah. Starting football in high school and then being like sixth draft pick. like It, it happened really fast, man. I, I started football when I was 14. I got to college when I was 17, and then I got drafted at 20. So and you're from 14 to 20. That's really cool. Today you're 25? Yeah, 25 now, yeah. Man, you got a long career ahead of you, man. Yes, Heck yeah. I hope so, man. <laughs> yeah, maybe skimboarding, maybe wake surfing career also. Pick this up. Yeah. Let's get out there. Let's get yeah, ready to try to freaking wake surf. Yeah, man, I'm hyped. Yeah, it's my so first good. time, baby. I'll go first, man. I always send it, bro. You know me, Frankie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the tricky part is going to see which board we're going to get you on. So. I'm thinking that soft top is going to be the best one right off the bat. We're going to need a bigger board for you. But everything's best to yeah. start, bro. Just to feel the wave and how I'm going to get you up. Right. And then after that, we'll go to your skin board. Sweet. I might be doing tricks on the first try. We got a triple X large, triple X grande. <laughs> grande. <laughs> Sounds like a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like so a burrito. Triple X grande. Ooh, I feel like a stealth in this. Yeah, perfect. Hell yeah. You better set the tempo. <laughs> set the tempo. Set the tempo, <laughs> man. Don't make us look fast. Man, I got this shit. Brought my lucky shorts today. Lucky shorts? Yeah. Start with your feet, on your heels on the heel side rail. Toes straight up and down. So don't try to flatten them out right away. Okay. The idea is that you have your heels on the edge. And then they will come up to and So head. as we get tension in the rope, the board's gonna flip up and the fins will cause it to rotate. And then you're basically just gonna squat up. Start with your arms out. Don't try to pull yourself in because it's like no point. You got the entire power of the boat to pull you up. It's like someone helping you up so up just the let it go, man. Yeah. So basically just gonna squat up and then one one arm, okay? Right. Doesn't right. matter what side of the wave I'm on, if I'm like. So we're gonna be on this side. So it's gonna be like technically like front the side. Be inside of me then. So yeah, it's gonna be on your uh, front side of your body. Kind of lean forward if you need to give it a little gas. If you get too close to the boat, just push, push the back foot. I think it's. I think you're gonna kill it right away. Honestly. I'm so. a fast learner. So. Take your time. We got lots of pools, so don't feel like rushed. Like if we don't get it the first five times, it doesn't even matter. First try, I expect. First try. <laughs> Seriously, bro. First try. Come on, I know you better than this, dog. <laughs> You see if he can tackle this wave. So get my on the board right now. Yes, that's how you want to start, just like this. You know that position very well. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Keep your arms out, and you're gonna use that squat to kind of get you up, right? The board actually looks small for him, dude. It's crazy. I feel like once he gets his balance and whatnot, and he can push on the side, I think we'll be in it. I'll let the boat do the work pulling you up. Yeah, I'll definitely trust it more on that one. Yeah, that looks better. I gotta stand up at least. I can't believe he makes a six foot soft top look like a small shortboard. Feel my footing good? Yeah, it looks good. We're kind of thinking the wave storm might be the call. So what you want to do is you want to try to put more weight kind of like over the front foot. That's what I was saying, bend your front knee. Yeah. Oh, sorry, bend your front knee so that that would kind of carry your weight forward towards the boat more. Right. Dude, that was sick. Are you kidding me? 
Can I just sit on the third try? How do you feel? That shit burns your legs a little bit. It's like you're, you're for real squatting like the whole time. After this run, we'll get a, a different board. Still got plenty of energy, right? We got three more quarters of this, hey, baby. Bro, first quarter ain't even over. Right there, baby. Woo! <laughs> yeah, after that wave storm, man, you just keep them in the wave. That was sick, dude. Yeah. Let's go! Hell yeah. Thanks, bro. Yeah, man, that was sick. That was dude. awesome. That's the Celebrity <laughs> Surf Series right there, getting Let's people go. wake surfing for the first time. First Love time, it. baby. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Hey, the getting up's the hardest part, but once you're, once you're on it, yeah, yeah. Then it's like, all right, I feel like I'm skateboarding a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But getting up, you're like, I never did that shit, so yeah, it feels awkward. That's sick, man. We're going to get you on the bigger board just to kind of feel it some more, and then after that, we should try the skim. All right, I'm down. Then you'll be on the be on Fresh, a, new, You'll be on a wave skin. on a skim board for the first time. I know. That'll since, be our, sick. since our last meetup. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that. Yeah. <laughs> this man must be ripped. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm like, I'm actually 250 pounds and it's all on my ass. <laughs> so like once I stood up, it did, the wave just didn't support me anymore or what happened? I'm yeah, not leaning if, forward. If the, wave, if the board's too small, it's hard to get that. You're going to just be creating too much drag to stay in the wave. Yeah, you got a lot of height and a lot of weight. Yeah, I'm know? 310 pounds, bro. 310? Yeah. Damn. Hey, 310 I'm, right here. Six, how tall? 6'5". Six, 6'5", five. Six, five. Six, five, 310, I think. I think we need a bigger board. Bigger board. What do you do when you're not playing football right now? Uh, basically, during the off season, I come to Malibu uh, every year and I train at uh, Sports Academy. And uh, awful place, huh? Yeah, you live. Man, it's beautiful, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, I'm like, actually, no. Nah, it's like it's really big though, and a lot of basketball players train there. But there's a good group of uh, football players that train there, and I've been able to stay busy during quarantine. That's dope, man. Yeah. You talking about playing some Call of Duty? Keep yeah. passing some time when you're not training and stuff. My Wi-Fi has been really crap in Malibu lately, but I think I might go buy one of those like Google connections or something like that because yeah, I got you're off the radar over there in Malibu, man. Join your group. Yeah, let's do it. Let's so do it. Heck yeah. <laughs> Good for you. He said a little short good friend. <laughs> I'm 6'2 on a good day, so all right. first time I've taught somebody needed the, needed a wave storm to teach somebody. Though. Really? Yeah. When you said we need all the points here, we can get all that. What you trying to say, bro? <laughs> <laughs> trying to say you're fucking 6'5. 200, 300 pounds, dude. <laughs> trying to say I wouldn't want to get hit, hit by you if I was on the offensive line. <laughs> That looks good, dude. Make sure you start with your knees bent. You drive those heels down when you get going, okay? All right. Oh, yeah. That was good, that was good. A little encouragement. You were in that. That was a nice little confidence boost when you were like, hey, he's surfing. I'm doing it. All right. So good. No more training wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Chest, baby. That was dope. NFL defensive end surfing behind our master craft. Let's go! Hey, that was awesome, baby. Yeah. I was starting to add some style up, points to that shit. I, <laughs> I felt awesome, man. Finally riding without the fucking the rope and shit, you know? 
That felt awesome. Keep doing that one or you can go try the skim if you want. Yeah, I'm down to try the skim. It's going to be a whole different feel. For I sure. bet. Yeah. That was sick. And this is going to be a whole different volume. <laughs> First so. time on the big cat. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, big cat We're skim good. boy. First time, baby. But the get up felt a lot squirrely. Oh, yeah. That board's going to be a bar of soap compared to the other one. Fucking bar of soap. <laughs> <laughs> on the small side for him. Yeah, that board's too small too for wake surfing. Dude, that was super sick, man. That was a lot harder on that board. Yeah, yeah it's slippery, that was man. Fun, man. I'm stoked that you tried that. Oh, no. Same length, but maybe a little bit. But the fin helps, huh? Let's see how, how it works. I don't know. Oh, and then that's right. I ain't fronting on a lake. Lake freaking boat. Boats and hose, that's right. And you know I stay afloat with my big ding dong. Sing, Can't take this guy anywhere. That is right. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> 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 no joke, did not expect that at all. I thought, you know, I could handle 300 pounds of rope tension, but apparently, apparently I can't. Smashed his ass. <laughs> How was your uh, first attempt at wake surfing, man? I mean, I have to say it's pretty, you freaking shredded it. Yeah, I mean, it took me a few tries to get up, but I got it on my third try. Third try, you know. Yeah, what was the highlight of today? Highlight today was uh, just being able to get up on the board and uh, finally take the training wheels off and get rid of the rope and uh, you know I was able to ride on the on the wave for a you little. You know while. the truth. The highlight is your, of your day was getting a solid connection of your shoulder to the chest and taking me down like I was Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah, it was satisfying hearing you uh, make a little bit of sound in the air. <laughs> You were like, ah! <laughs> I knew you were picturing me as Tom Brady right then. Yeah, I had to, man. I had to visualize because you, you're my boy, you know, so I, like, had to picture something else to, like, actually be able to hit you hard enough. <laughs> yeah, don't, like, don't, like, uh, crush my no, rib no, no, cage. No, no, I'm going to just, like, <laughs> Okay, okay. Everybody be, like, have, like, a, light, a rope ready to, like, save me. <laughs> 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 No joke goes on the list of like skydiving and bungee jumping. <laughs> he said, whoa! <laughs> yeah, I was, I was fucking scared, I'm not gonna lie. He said he felt that one a little bit. <laughs> oh, dude, my head feels that. That was like an instant headache. Dude, I can't imagine that and like Life on the really? ground, bro. Yeah. Oh my God. Imagine getting hit. Like, What's the most satisfying thing you can do? Not necessarily what like the team wants from you right, or right. what the, like people want to see from you, but what to you feels the best? Like what feels good? Honestly, getting a sack is satisfying, but to me, like, what feels, like, even better than that is, like, when you beat your man, like, super cleanly. Like, when he just, like, literally doesn't even get a finger on you and you just, like, like, what you've been practicing all off season, and, yeah, like, yeah. you finally, like, get it to, like, click, like, 100% on somebody and it's just, like, you get past them, like, easily. Like, that shit feels amazing. And getting past them, I mean, there's, like, a lot of people... They see you guys like you know from far away on the camera when you're watching football. Like yeah. a lot of people don't see the intricacies of like what you're doing with your hands, which yeah. you told me about when I was taking you skimboarding that one time. You're telling me how like it's like martial arts when you guys are trying to get around there. So there's like a lot of different techniques to get around. Right, it's a lot of hand fighting. So basically, when like people put their hands in certain places you know like you do so much repetition of like uh hand fighting and yeah, stuff yeah, like that yeah. that it just becomes like second nature like when someone touches this shoulder i knew to like know to lift it or when someone touches me low like i know to chop it like stuff it's like, like boxing that. almost yeah it's really like a, a like a hand fighting thing i do a lot of like jujitsu and like boxing classes and stuff like that during the off season so 
So Hope what's it like going like head to head? I mean, like, you know, I don't know, like when you're when a wide receiver's lined up with the tight end or the cornerback or whatever, like they kind of got some distance. But when you're like starting off at the line, like right there with somebody, like, yeah. what is it like? What's the vibe between like lineman to lineman? Is it like all good, like good respect energy, or is it sometimes like people trying to get in your head, like talking shit? It's definitely both. You know, there's definitely some guys that you just respect and you guys like play the game respect. Uh, but obviously, the guys are like trying to win and like kick each other's ass. So <laughs> there's obviously that. Um, but. It's way different from playing a corner or a receiver or something like that because when you're playing on the line, whether it's pass or run, you're getting sure. instant contact on the snap of the ball. Like you're you're getting contact right away. And uh, That's that definitely, we were talking about like how like you, your position in part particular. I mean, everybody's giving 100 percent on the right. field, but like particularly your position like no is full there. on yeah. every single time. There's no break. Every play you have to be 100 and 20% just like just trying to get through the line. Right? Exactly, because if you're like a corner or a safety, uh, obviously they help in the run too, but sometimes the run play is over before they can even get close to the ball carrier, you know what I mean? So, uh, for a defensive lineman or offensive lineman, it's just like no matter where the ball's going, no matter who it's going to, um, when that ball snapped, you guys have like three feet between you guys and you're just like hitting every fucking ball. <laughs>might not know about you outside of football and everything unless they follow your gram you know is uh you got you got a passion obviously with like you're trying new stuff that's what i love about you man you're always trying new stuff you're like you're just all about having fun yeah. and um you're just like an all-around just nice dude and uh you just have i feel like you have a lot of little hobbies a lot of little things you like to dive into like we were talking about spear fishing you have like all these reptiles and aquariums and stuff like yeah. that's not like something every human being let alone an nfl player has at their house right like yeah it's true like even my um <clears throat> even my teammates i like, talk about that a lot they'll like see my my like animals on my on my page sometimes like, some of my friends are like man i want to come over there and check them out but some of my friends are like man i'm never going to your house you know what i mean but <laughs> yeah, it's like, anaconda goes loose yeah, or something exactly. but it's like cool being able to like yeah. be out here during the off season and i like, still grind and like uh focus on my job obviously but then it's like cool to like you know make friends like you that are like outside of my my profession and uh be able to do stuff that's like different because right. you know like football is not who i am it's just like what i do you know what i mean so the owner of the New York Giants isn't going to be mad I took you wake surfing today, is he? Uh, I don't think so. It's like pretty safe. You know, if you're falling off, you're just landing in the water. Yeah, uh, there's a few other things. It's a very controlled environment, life jacket. Everything was very safe this entire time. I made sure I wore it. He's still wearing it for the interview. First try, dude. Let's go.
everybody up here bragging about you, talking about how you're gonna be better at everything than me. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Frank, where are you getting this boy I gotta at? beat him up while he's little, man. <laughs> All right, man. Well, thank you so much for coming on the Celebrity Surf Series. Yeah, man, Always a pleasure hanging out with you. Can't wait till we link up again. Sure. And uh, thanks, Leonard Williams, anything you're working on? Anything you want to promote? I don't know. You got any like, what do you, what do you got going on? You want to promote? Want to promote? I don't know. You got your Graham. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's on TV like right. when NFL yeah. season comes around. So that's it, man. Just myself, you know. Just like Austin said, you know, I'm, I'm more than just a football player. Check out my Instagram. Uh, I do a lot of stuff, and I try to meet cool guys like this that can propel together. Heck yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Celebrity Surf Series, we're out. Yeah.